Hello, it's me again, the buyer, and welcome to a new episode of the luxury campaign in automation. Right now we're in BMG driving the second generation Vinlay in Ruinia, obviously. And this time we chose the fancy convertible version because I think this one fits really well. And even though it is not an absolute blockbuster, it is still a very nice car. I especially like the rear. Um, the front maybe is again a little bit too modern, but yeah, overall I'm quite happy. This one has a 1 liter V6, quite a downgrade to the 1.5 liter Eco V12 the first generation had. I hope our customers won't mind too much because the Winley project almost bankrupted us. We have seriously scaled up production. We have also rolled out all of the models into the new markets of Hana and Dalua. And last episode money ran out and we had to get an emergency loan. Luckily, the manager of the National Bank of Gasmia helped us out and got us a significant loan uh, with good conditions. So in this episode, it is our time to pay him back. And because one condition of the loan was that he gets a new ultimate version of the next generation of the Cleris. And this is the car we will design and build in this episode. So the manager of the National Bank of Gasmia obviously only gets the best of the best. So we need to make sure that the new Cleris is again the best car in the world and absolutely destroys the third generation Cleris. That's our goal. To bridge the time until the new Cleris is out, I guess we will have to ship a third generation Cleris to the manager. But yeah, let's not waste any more time and head into the office to get going. And here we are. Again, I already took a look at which kind of car I want to design and which kind of body I want to use. And the problem is that the body I want to take is not yet available. The body I want to have is here this 3.3 meter version and it's only available in 1997. So still a few months away, nine months to be exact. So I'd say let's do a little bit more research to make it a little bit quicker, but we still have to let a few months tick past. Three more clicks, several more million. Money is currently flowing in again after we went through this big hole. 25 millions in the plus, even though we are repaying 100 millions per month currently of our loans. So we are in big debt. Uh, the company valuation is only 500 million, but yeah, we are hugely profitable right now. And the main reason for that is the Bramble. As always, Bramble currently yields 80 million a month. All of the other models together bring a little bit more than what the Bramble brings. So the Bramble really is our cash cow and we sell 20k of it per month. Really, really awesome. Yeah, facelift wise, we are pretty well done as of now. But I must say the Bramble is not yet available in Ahana and Talua. This is completely unacceptable. So as soon as the pre-order situation is a little bit better, I will hammer a facelift out. But I will not make the mistake to now repay 11 months of pre-orders because if I remember correctly, we raised the pre-order price and this is quite significant money. So I'd rather update the um, shifts that we can do so that we can get the update quicker. Also, we must have a huge de delivery delay penalty already. Yeah, 50% penalty of undesirability because of the huge waiting time. So it's really important to get the Bramble done and delivered. Okay, so let's let it run until either the pre-orders are gone, but I guess this will take a bit longer, or the new bodies will unlock. All right, and there we are. New bodies have been unlocked. Excellent. And uh, yeah, company valuation just doubled within six months. And the credit score is now also not F anymore or whatever it was before. Excellent. And we have money in the bank. So new Claris it is. So let's get into designing the Claris Generation 3.
So on the chassis side only the best of the best was reasonable, so no carbon fiber. So aluminium on advanced high strength steel and yeah, fancy suspension of course and a little bit of quality here. I didn't use the full 5 because I think the multi-link or something or HS steel was unlocked with the tech pool. So going for 3 is already quite um, expensive. So time wise maybe only 2. 2 is enough. Makes a difference of 9 months already here in the chassis tab. The engine. Let's see. What do we have? We certainly need a V16 and I think the old 8 liter V16 is a little bit ancient as of now. Although I am scared to create a new one because V16s will take forever. So can we get away? I think we can get away with the old one. We have to have one constant. Uh, but yeah, we will replace the variant of this one. Certainly we need to make it better than it was. Question is, do we also want to make it turbocharged? I think it would be time to make the Clearis ultimate really ultimate. But uh, not with ultimate fuel, I guess. No, that's not available anywhere. I can go for 95. Pretty decent. Uh, still uh, need to get the turbo to run at all. I think it should be pretty good once it works. Should this be a quad turbo? Depends on if we can make it work. It will only have a little bit of boost. Nothing too, too bad there. And just spool immediately. Definitely some surge stress there, yeah. Yeah, around 500 horsepower I think is very nice for this luxury sedan. Just trying to get 500 horsepower pretty well, and I think with this I am happy. 500 horsepower, excellent. Also made it very quiet. Alright, so then let's see how it looks.
All right, and there we are. That's it. So design year 93, release around the 2000s. Have that in mind when judging the aesthetics. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I think it looks at least like something premium, a proper premium. The wheels obviously don't match yet, but I will do that when we head to the actual engineering. So all wheel drive for 500 horsepower, I think is pretty clear. Advanced automatic is clear as well. And of course, also vicious uh, limited slip diff and uh, power distribution more to the rear. It's pretty typical. Medium tires. 235s I think is plenty. Are oh, the tires large enough? Uh, we need to check our comfort later on. If 19 is too much or not. Alloy oh the of course the ultimate version always gets magnesium. Here also only the best. And yeah, do we want to go for efficiency here? I think it would be fine. Also some cooling flaps. Um, so that it's not only a good car, but also for a eight liter V16, also quite fuel efficient. Four seater, handmade obviously, and now luxury CD. And this one obviously full on quality. Variable hydraulic, power steering, full blown ESC. Some of that was already done with tech pool and advanced 90s and, and, and active suspension, of course. So this is all out. So, um, quick look already tells us Comfort 88 and Prestige 95. This car is huge, 5.6 meters in length. And yeah, these are definitely new records for this company. Um, question is, do we want to have a speed limiter or not? This will hurt Prestige a little bit. Let's limit it to 300. <laughs> Let's say 300 is a good limit. Uh, brakes, yeah. Maybe we add brakes as well. And this should be the way to 90 comfort. And also our sportiness is back. Yeah, there we definitely have 90 comfort. No under tray is more efficient than fully clad okay then i think it's clear we're well above two tons anyway and this is basically just adding en engineering time so we don't do it yeah, i think the car is good enough as it is right 18.6 liters more than 90 comfort, more than 90 prestige. The fourth generation, if we get to it, um, definitely needs to break into the hundreds there. Oh, car is not going 100, uh, 300 anymore because I removed the under tray. So let's remove the limiter as well. All right, I think ultimate is done. That's the nice thing. If you're just going all out, it's pretty easy. We will make this really, really expensive. And now our typical sedan or the luxury version. I think I always call it sedan. This will have to get the um, normal V12. We'll also give it a small update, but this will stay naturally aspirated. So 
So let's just make it a little bit better all around. And there we have it, 310 horsepower. Decent enough. And now here mostly it is about reducing quality. This can stay just alloy wheels. Maybe this one also could get away with um, a standard rear wheel drive, but I will keep it. And here we definitely have to reduce quality. I think we stick with the ac active suspension stuff, uh, but go for standard dampers separate them a little bit more and then I think this car is also pretty well done and a convertible again we also would have a hatchback here for a city car 5.6 meters and a coupe but no convertible that's a bummer no I didn't pay attention to that but do we want to make a GT GT premium four seats yeah, it's definitely better as a real four seater So, and I won't make it any more sporty so it should not conflict with the with the Godwit too much so let's keep it like this just need to change the target of this normal sedan and then we are done engineering is actually quite all right 72 would be nice six years so a little bit of pressure maybe and this one can be a little bit unreliable and I don't care if a bit of material is wasted if it is then quicker both to engineer and to manufacture yeah that's looking good that's also already looking good. And yeah, this one still can be a contract engine. For 30k for the engine. Or let's say 44k. 30 was just material. Yeah, so let's remember to not make this car too cheap. Seventy-two months, clear as V12 factory. Question is, can we upgrade? Or do we need to upgrade to a level two or a level three? So I will just check my current factory utilization. So the Clearis is not fully utilized, I guess. 1.2 only. Ay ay ay. So I probably don't need much more. For safety reasons, I will go to a medium two. But more is definitely not necessary. Clearis factory was a medium one as well we'll also update it to a medium two and the question did i have the ultimate in this workshop i don't think so although the efficiency is not really a problem so i will keep it in here and don't don't go into a small workshop into a small shed for the ultimate
I just go for high quality for better build quality here. Um, so I actually lose a bit of margin by increasing the tooling quality. All right. I think then we're done. I um, definitely need different, different margins there. So for the ultimate, I take only a small deposit, but for the other ones, I need more. All right, <laughs> that looks like profit. Also, factory shifts are looking good. I'm just sad that we don't have a convertible. Do we need a loan for that? I don't think so. We have the money right now. Let's get rid of some loans, I guess. Oh, I didn't save. Hopefully I did everything all right. The economy is just excellent right now. So our goal is now to go until 1996. And I'll just check. So the Bramble Generation 3 is already there. The Generation 2 is still being produced. Okay, that needs to stop, I guess. The Vinlay will be stopped once the new one is out. Clearance is fine. And the rest of everybody got their facelifts. So we can just move on. And higher factory refresh costs. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's pay in cash. All right, Bramble. Yeah, Bramble is done. I should sell the remaining two or three cars for scrap. And then this one is cleared out as well. The Evan is being produced well enough. That's good. Bramble still has issues with pre-orders now is especially now that we have killed the predecessor Windley is starting to sell also the convertible and we're losing money now as the Windley factory is being constructed oh my engine contract again small issue yeah, I would say this is all right. 35 engines are affected. We are currently selling 13 of the ultimate at a cost of 150k. The new one will cost double that. I think it's time to revisit our marketing with regards to prestige and reputation just see how much it actually costs and it doesn't cost too, too much so i will just increase that currently we are gaining about 10,000 points per month so yeah maybe aiming for 5 million points in the end we'll see the economy is starting to tank a bit look at these pre-orders right now so i think the windley is going well and also the clearis generation 3 is now starting to be sold even though it's still four more than four years away there we have the windley it's been released and sold last month 15,000 pieces and big loss. Well, why that? The Winley lost us a lot of money. But yeah, the uh, it is actually now our best-selling car, the 2 plus 2 version. It um, yeah, takes over from the Bramble, even though the overall family of the Bramble sells 26k and the Winley 21k. Why is the Winley losing money? It's impossible, it's so nice. 
Yeah, the margins are low. But still... There is a margin. <laughs> Why is it losing money? I don't understand it. No, it gained a little bit of money. Yeah, but it's not really a cash cow, I would say. Just look at the difference. They, it's almost the same amount of cars, but yeah, <laughs> the difference in profit is insane. Bramble, oh no, 500,000 engines are affected by this recall. And it's a significant issue in the inline six engine. Production of one and a half years is flawed. And there is a 35% chance that it will be discovered. The cost is absolutely insane. So I think anything else than living with the reputation and prestige damage is yeah, insane. If I pay 300 million, I also get reputation damage. And I think it's it's okay to say we've messed this one up 500,000 times. Oh god. Oh, and we are still losing money. But that was also the recall. Oh, interesting. What's not... Why is it not working anymore? Of course, 100 million... Add 100 million to that, then this is the real profit. Company valuation is now almost 5 billion. But still, yeah, it's interesting. Winley is now making a solid profit, but it's really not a lot. Bramble is down to 5 months and still not selling in Ahana and the Lua. But slowly we are reducing our pre-orders and then it's time for a facelift. But I guess this will only happen in the next episode. Because we also have to work on a new car soon. And that new car will be the Godwit. And that will be the car for the next episode. So really, I'm really looking forward to that. 1996 peak 90s supercar time. This will be really nice um, to go for a new supercar. All right, and there we are in 1996, 1 1.7 million points as of now. I think everything is working as it should. We are in control almost of our pre-orders and we are making money and we're just doing well. The Bramble is just key to our success. And still we have major loans to be repaid Let's quickly count. So that's almost 2 billion. Yeah, with that 2 billion, 3, 4 billion. We are still down 4 billion in loans. And let's also check out our, our uh, markets and sales numbers. So current, uh, our revenue is mostly coming from commuter and family market that's interesting but that's of course not where the margin is coming from our market awareness very green in Gasmia so here in the luxury part 94% getting there also in Hedvesia and Fruinia Dalua still a bit way to go but 75% already and also 70 in Ahana oh that's the mixture now <laughs> that makes more sense. 30% uh, in Ahana. 40% in Dalua. Yeah. That's more like it. Yeah. Dealerships are doing pretty well. Just the numbers for Gasmia here. Almost on level 10 here uh, in the luxury area. Company bubble. Yeah, our bubble is quite luxurious. A bit city car and utility. And we're growing also in the delivery um, part. Desirability, we almost have a car everywhere. GT, GT Premium is not 
currently fully supported, but that's where the new clearance will hit a bit. Supercar hypercar market needs more attention. We'll do that next episode. And of course we don't have a light sports car because our cars are not light. And muzzle, yeah, it's just not there. That's maybe also because of no proper GT. And the Bramble is also not muscly enough this time. Yeah, affordability is pretty bad everywhere, I guess. We have expensive cars. Monthly sales data. So this, are, this is our pure market share. 10% in the family stuff. And up to more than 30% in luxury. That's really good. And it's a lot worse in Edvesia and Fuinia. And even worse, of course, in the Lua and Ahana. Nothing. Almost nothing is going there. But we'll get there. Overall, in the world, we have a very nice share for such a luxu uh, luxury company. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Really look looking forward to the next one um, for 90s supercar goodness. I hope you'll return for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wish to do so. Thanks for watching and see you all again next time. Bye bye.